Hello there, Star Wars fans and collectors, and welcome back to another Star Wars fig review. Today we'll be taking a look at the Black Series Archive Collection Grand Admiral Thrawn. Um, or, well, I should say it was the Black Series Grand Admiral Thrawn from the Archive Collection. That that just sounds better. Um, I bought this at WonderCon in 2022 in Anaheim, uh, at the Anaheim Convention Center. It was April 2022, and of course, a month later, I came back for a Star Wars celebration in Anaheim. <laughs> but I bought this, and let me tell you, I... I actually like this figure. It's a 10 out of 10 figure for me. I know that this version has the has a photo reel or the, the head sculpt ha, has um, is redone with the photo reel technology. And I personally believe that this one looks better than the original release of the Black Series Thrawn. I don't have that version, but I've seen it before. And I don't know that the first, the original one the, it looked great, but the head sculpt looked weird on the original Thrawn. <laughs> this one looks better, looks more menacing, and the uniform is slightly redone, where it has a better, like, uh, appearance to it, so that's nice, too, and I like this figure. Um, he comes with one accessory, and that's his blaster pistol. You can actually put it in this holster right here, and I'm going to show you right now. Put it right in here. Let's see. Here we go. There we go. Fits nicely in the holster. <clears throat> uh, articulation that he has is a ball hinge at the neck, I would say. Or maybe ball joint, but it's more of a ball hinge. Hinge. Let's see. I can't move his shoulders. Okay, he has hinged shoulders, but I can't move him for some reason. They're kind of stiff on mine. I don't know if it's just my figure or if it's like that for, ever, for any other throne. But he has. you can see he has hinged uh, shoulders. Hinge, he has hinged um, elbows, hinged wrists, <laughs> limited movement at the upper at the waist, hinged hips, hinged knees, and he has like that double joint I mentioned in my Tala video, and hinged ankles. And let's give a full 360 of the um, <laughs> action figure. This version is based on the Star Wars Rebels version of Thrawn. However, this the head sculpt looks more like live action version of Thrawn. I'm not saying it looks like Lars Mikkelsen, because I know Lars Mikkelsen voiced Thrawn in Rebels and he played that character in live action for the Ahsoka show. But I'm but it looks like um like what 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 most people would depict Thrawn as when he, if he were brought to live action. This is before, you know, um you know before the so the Ahsoka show came out we saw Lars Mikkelsen play Thrawn. So like I said he looks like a depiction of what we what what many perceive him to be to be like if he were a live action character and he also and this this version also looks like an, an expanded universe uh version of thrawn or like what you know the books and comics would depict them as so you can use them for anything rebels uh um expanded universe or your own story you know it could be for anything you, you know <clears throat> and this is another great figure like i said 10 out of 10 if you if you're gonna get a black series Thrawn. I recommend this one because he has a better head sculpt. The uniform looks better, looks more improved compared to the first one. So yeah, get this one if you can. Mm -hmm. And again, ten out of ten figure, and I recommend it. Before I, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, um, end the video, I want to show you something. Um, I noticed that the legs for Thrawn were reused for Walter Donovan, and this, you know, and I mentioned this in my general reviews video too, but I thought it'd be nice to mention it again. Both of them have the same legs, and it kind of makes sense because these were both. Uh, Hasbro products, so I'm not surprised that they, they reuse uh, you know, body parts from different figures, let alone from different characters from different franchises. You know, this being Star Wars, this being Indiana Jones, uh, but yeah, but I just point that out. And hopefully, someday I get to my Indiana Jones uh, action figure review soon. Um, I do, I only have the adventure series, but I do have one old set from 2008. Like a, like a little play set that came with Indiana Jones and the Idol and had like a trap set, but I'm not going to review that just because <clears throat> I don't think it's worth it. <laughs> so yeah, and I, with that being said, that should be all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching as always. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment down below, hit the bell icon as always, and I will see you in the next video. May the force be with you and have a great rest of your day or night. Bye.